<laughs> that would have been amazing. All right, now I think we are actually broadcasting. So. That's okay. People can hear me. Okay. Well, talk. They, they can hear you talk. Yes. People that's can what, hear me talk. You know. Spoilers! I'm in this episode. Yeah, it's oh. crazy. Yeah, I'm not gonna be here the whole time though. But... Yeah, it's crazy. I'm sorry. Apologies. <laughs> this is an man. Android tablet. <laughs> I know it's crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is crazy. <laughs> it's like it's weird. Like it the looks just like Eminem's. The yeah. proportions of the like bezel are all wrong. Have you noticed that? Like, because it's like this to this. Like proportionally, I don't. I'm not happy with that aesthetic. Yeah, yeah, and honestly, it makes less sense to have extra room on the top and bottom than on the sides. For oh, wait, I'm doing something. Ah, that's okay. That is okay. Okay, well, we've got some overlap there. That's cool. That's okay. Yeah, the the top and bottom bezel being uh, thicker so just makes no sense. No sense. All right. So what are we doing? New um, project. Yep, new project. Why do you have an Android Help. tablet? Why do, for testing? Wait, for how, testing how long have you had that one? Um, since I started working at Silicon Beach Media, those three months ago when I had a job, it was great. Okay, because it looks kind of new. All right. Um, so we're we're reco we're broadcasting. Hello. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Cooking with Unity. I'm your host, Max Moreau. With me is Philip Wilson and Jeffrey Hawthorne. Say hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. All right. So, um, so yeah. So today we're doing a uh, balloon fight because someone said balloon fight. Or joust. Or joust. They're pretty much the same kind of game. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be probably putting our own little spin on it, maybe. What am I doing here? Um... Uh, main screen turn on. It's you. So uh, we're gonna create a new project. This is exciting, um, and uh, this is probably gonna be a short project. But I'm not sure how many episodes it's gonna take. But we'll 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 work with it. And we're gonna be white boxing it today. I haven't had a time to source art assets. We might do some arting, but we'll probably be just dealing with blocks or cubes or something for now. So um, where am I actually gonna put this? 2D blocks and cube. Let's put this into this thing's weird. Head switch perforce, and we're going to create a um, new project here. We'll call it um, Balloon Joust. Fight. Fight. Is there another Joust-like game to you know, throw I can't in there? Think of any. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, those are pretty much the ga the only games that are like that. I think. Huh. I mean, because I can't, I really can't think of it. I wonder if ones. any of our audience is actually old enough to know what Balloon Fight or, or joust, joust is. Both, both of them are uh, are older games, that's for balloon sure. Balloon Fight's probably higher probability just because people might have a Nintendo and their system might just be like, hey, you can download joust, Balloon Fight. Joust was available on the Xbox 360. This is true. Wait, oh, but like only for a short time though. Well, Midway was still a company yeah. that was functional. So uh, I'm going to switch it to set up defaults for 2D. Um, but though I'm going to show you, so we're going to create a new project. This is 2D Thursdays, so 2D seems appropriate. Um, if you're ever in a project and you want that to change, you can just go to Project Settings Editor, and you'll find the default behavior mode 2D there. All this does is it makes it so that when you come into the screen, it comes in in 2D mode. And it makes it so that if you drag in a texture, it assumes that you want it to be a sprite. Well, that's kind of cool. So, um, so what are we going to do? I like to turn on visible metafiles and um, force text on the asset serialization while I'm here, in here. This is just helpful for if you're, if you're running version control. It means that uh, files will attempt to be text-based and so that they can uh, be stored as deltas rather than the whole file. Uh, it does make the files bigger, but it makes the changes smaller, typically. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, I don't know. Uh, sprite Packer mode, um, actually I think that this is a pro feature, so I'm going to stick away from that one. Um, so, what are we going to do to start? So, first of all, so Joust, let, let me bring up the video corner thing. So Joust is a game, and Balloon Fight are games, where you have a little character, 
and you have a button that like makes them go up so they like they like jump up a little bit and then they can jump in the air and you basically fly around and you try and be slightly above one of the opponents and hit them to kill them and so it's just a little little movement game where you try and get above the opponents and you you fight for that higher space and you're locked to a screen so that you can't just like fly forever and then not have to deal with anyone or anything you you you're locked into an area and i think in both cases there there are screen wrap games too um we'll they probably are, not focus on that at first we'll just lock someone into the room um but uh but uh for a no holds barred cage match with balloons and and pterodactyls or something um but uh but yeah so so that's the basic concept um with my hand puppet stuff here. And so, puppets. so let's start with, uh, that's the wrong thing. Let's start with, um, just making a main character and making him move around a little bit in the scene. So we're going to start with, um, I'm just going to create a cube because I just said, we're going to block this out without art first and then we'll add art later. And um, we're going to make this physics-y. So we're going to give this cube a physics rigid body. And a physics uh, box collider seems appropriate, considering he's a box right now. And uh, let's, uh, let's just set up some basic ground real quick. I'm just going to create another cube. And we're going to move this down. And I'm going to rename this to ground. And this cube we're going to call player. And we're going to take the ground here. I'm going to put it at negative 3. And we'll scale the X out so that it kind of covers some area. We just want kind of a test test ground for for our cube dude. Cube so dude. if we hit play, the cube falls to the, to the ground and everything stays there. That's good. He didn't fall through the ground. Yay. Um... So uh, remember, even if you're in 2D mode, things have depth. So so if you uh, have stuff falling through, uh, like we might have set it up so that he was kind of on the wrong side there, and then we hit play, and you'll see that he'll fall through. Um, don't just check colliders, but also check like depth. Make sure that everything's on the same Z-depth, or at least their colliders are on the same Z-depth. So they are, and when we hit play, he falls down to the ground. And I'm going to create a directional light just so that we have kind of prettier cubes, sort of. No, at least they're, they're gray they're as opposed to more... like black gray. Yeah, brackish gray. Brackish so, gray. So we're going to create a C sharp script, and we're going to call this. Um, let's see. Do I want to do it separate scripts, or do I want to do it as one monolithic script? Separate scripts are easier to deal with. Yeah, yeah, we can play around with things, I guess. But All right, I let's do, do it. I am an advocate, though, Move for Move left and right. We'll start with that. We've done ones like this in the past. We have. Yes. This Many a time. This is true. We might even... Uh, Make this one more physicsy than the ones we do in the past. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm willing to play around with this a little bit just because we, we have a blank slate to work with. I think that's a good idea. So public, um, let's start with a public string uh, axis, and we're gonna call this equal to horizontal. And can we have a public string that's ac allies? <laughs> axis and allies. No. I'm kidding. Maybe. Don't do that. Um, so public string access, public float, um, speed. This might actually end up being four, so I'm just going to call it speed for right now. 1.0f. And uh, what we're going to do is in our update loop, we're we going to have do... have a jump button as well, by the way. Well, this is the move left and right. Oh, you yeah, said not to point. make it that's monolithic. That's Sorry. I would have named it differently. I would have been like... Move around, fly around, and stuff. <laughs> Move stuff around. Yeah, so. <laughs> Move around the screen, and junk. Yeah, exactly. So, um, so what we're gonna do here is, uh, so the the basic thing that we would do in a lot of episodes is just transform dot position plus equals um, vector vect 
Vector. Not to be confused with Vector. Three dot right times speed times uh, input dot get access. Apparently someone wants me to host. Access. There's a few people that want you to host. No, oh, that's not true. They don't know what they're they're getting no, into. No, they, they they know what they're getting into. I think you've done it before. Just insanity. You did great. Just pure insanity. <laughs> you did great last time that you you hosted. You you basically hosted that on that uh, uh, Dijkstra slash actually A Star. You did no, legit I did, A-Star. I did the uh, no, I did the node connection. Yeah, thing. yeah, the node stuff. Yeah. I didn't like being in front of the camera. <laughs> Should just get a mask. Yeah, yeah, get like an anonymous mask or something. No, that's too typical. It is, it is, but you know, we're all about typical. Should be, you should get like a tuxedo mask. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, Sailor Moon reference number one of the day. But are there usually more? N- well, I, I don't know. Make another one. You're I'm going sure. to, I'm sure. So, uh, so I just put move left and right on the player here. <laughs> And uh, with this, we can like kind of slide left and right here, and uh, we're just we're just affecting the player's position. Um, so that means once he gets up to speed, um, the only reason there's an acceleration whatsoever is because we have in our input settings, project settings, input. Um, by default, the horizontal axis has uh, a gravity and a sensitivity setting here that makes it so that it uh, takes a little time to for it to speed up or slow down. Uh, we can make these ridiculous values, like 1,000, and you'll see that he'll just turn on a dime. Uh, so if we just do... So it's just full speed. Can we I'm set gonna... it up for two players? Make a second horizontal? Yeah, we can do that. We can set this up for two players. Do you want to do that right now? No, we should set yes. it up for... Okay. I want to plan ahead. All Let's right. Set it up for four players. All right, well... Let's do it, even though there's only three of us. Well, then it's a three-player game, but the fourth player can be optional or whatever. I'll play as two people. I'm going to start with two players. We're going to get Man. sidetracked on some players here. I want eight players. So, so Massively multiplayer player one, player joust. <laughs> oh. <laughs> MMOJ. So we're going to put move left and right on, on player MMOJ-G. two. MMOJG. Massively multiplayer online joust game. <laughs> and if I hit play again, you'll note that when I hit left and right, both players move. Fantastic. And one of them moves faster than the other. That's kind of weird. Why? Did I change a setting on one of these? I probably did. Horizontal. Oh, this guy's got Oh, it has on two. Twice. Okay. <laughs> so he's doing it twice. He was so, a deluxe movement. Script. So we can uh, make it two players by just adding another um, something similar to horizontal. So I'm just going to right-click and duplicate array element here, horizontal. And we're going to call it uh, <coughs> horizontal... Let's call it P2 horizontal. And uh, what will it be? We'll make it A and D, and we'll get rid of the alt buttons here, and we'll get rid of the alt buttons here. So now we got left and right and A and D. So now we got left and right and A and D. So I still have control of both of them because I didn't actually change to use this. So, so we'd set this axis up as a string, and what what a coincidence we actually have a use for this now we don't have to change a hard code at that value we can just cl- go here into p2 horizontal so now if we hit play theoretically i can move left and right and jeffrey you can move left and right we are on opposite sides of the screen than we feel like but and we can push each other. Oh, it's, oh, it's oh, Sumo! Yeah. It's Sumo! Oh, that's awesome! All right, we've made a game. All right, ship it. <laughs> ship it. Call Apple. <laughs> Got to get this through the pipeline. They take forever. Yeah. All right, let's try this again. It's Before sumo. someone takes our idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cube, Submit it today. Cube Sumo. Oh, let's go through the submission uh, process. I got you this time. This is totally a skill-based Before. game. <laughs> this is completely a skill-based game. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Oh no! Oh, it's another tie. Oh, All right. I feel like I'm closer to winning because I fall in the background yeah. and I fall later. Here, let's let's try higher speed. <laughs> I was told to get a mask. Oh. 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 All right. All right. So that's our sumo game. We're done. Um, it's, it's kind thanks, of a balloon thanks joust. Thanks for joining fight. us. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So I'm kidding. So or let's submit it to Perforce. Joust kind of has um, 
a lot of momentum in the game. It does. And that's part of the reason I wanted to set these guys up as physics things. And right now, we're doing move left and right as a non physics y type of thing. And actually, I'm just going to leave this here for, for, for um, doc documentation's sake, but we're going to duplicate it, and which is just Command-D or Control-D if you're on Windows. And we're going to call this Move Left and Right Physics E. Yes, we're going to put the Y <laughs> on the end. <laughs> nice. And I'm going to copy that because I'm never going to be able to remember how to spell that. There we go. Physics E. Physics E. It's easy. So this time we're going to call this Force. And I'm just going to go ahead and put force here, even though. Can we call this different. So instead of doing transform to position, and instead of doing update, we're going to do fixed update, fixed update, and we're going to do um, rigid, body. rigid body, rigid body. Dot. Whoa. Whoa. That was cool. Whoa. It's, it, it's like you want to make a bomb <laughs> right now. How does it know these things? Yes. So. Ridgebody.addForce. So this is you what can we're read my do. mind. I've always thought that joust and balloon fight could use more explosions. So we're gonna do <laughs> add force um, vector three dot right um, force mode mode. Oh wait, okay. Actually, I shouldn't have deleted all that stuff there because I kind of need it all. Um, times force times ah, force times no force times no escape. No, okay. Oh, wow. Hello, computer. All right. Um, <laughs> Hello, computer. Times force times... I can't let you do that, Max. <laughs> uh, time dot delta time. And then we want... Yeah, we want somewhere in there the uh, the input. Uh, input dot get axis axis. We put a semicolon in the end so that everyone's happy. We hit save, and uh, this is probably going to be not a lot of force. This is probably going to be the wrong amount of force, and actually there's a plug here. We need to put one more bracket there. Um, so um, I'm just going to do it. This is going to be awful, but we want we're going to try it. Do we want it to be an acceleration force? or um, Probably want to change the force mode, maybe. I don't know. Um, what's the default? It's just a force mode... So, normally it's force mode force. Either acceleration or force will be fine. Mm. Let's just do a force. Ah, let's do acceleration. That means uh, force mode. The difference between force mode acceleration and force, force mode force is force mode force takes your mass into the equation. Like it actually has an aspect of that. And actually, uh, something uh, I already made a mistake here. Actually. You're not actually supposed to put time dot delta time in add force. Oh, no. Um, I uh, I think we've done this wrong on the show before, and uh, and I found it out later. Uh, and I think I, I I remember when we were fighting the physics system desperately mm -hmm. on the Mario Galaxy style game. Um, I think it was partially because I had assumed that the physics system does not automatically add time time into the equation, but add force already takes into account time, so we don't want to actually multiply and delta time dot oh, delta time. That makes it easier, right? I, I guess. It means that you have to remember to not use time.delta time in add force. In that one situation. Yeah, right? yeah. And I'm not sure if you need it in add explosion force or not. I haven't done the experimentation on that, but um, but yeah. So so let's see what we get here. So I'm going to get rid of move left and right on player one, remove component. And uh, player two, get rid of it as well, remove component. And, uh, but player two should have P2 horizontal here. And force one is probably not going to be able to do much of anything. Yeah, we're, we're stuck. We're completely stuck. So I'm going to give player two some more force, and you just keep, keep trying. 100. All right. 100. Oh, sorry. Hey, 100. <laughs> here, try he that. 10,000. Uh, uh, do you need to click on Yeah. That? There we go. Okay, it works. Whoa! That was a little too worky. Yeah, I think I think maybe. All right, let's just do fifty. Fifty. And let's do fifty on the other side here. Fifty, fifty. 
All right, so woo, yeah, we we we. <laughs> That's cool. Just blow away. <laughs> woo. All That's right. too much force. Yeah, it's it's actually probably it's still too much force. Yeah, let's let's set it to, to ten. I like how it works though. Yeah, it looked kind of neat. Actually. And actually, you know, I'm going to make it so that we can play with this, even though we're probably not going to change it. Public uh, force mode. Uh, force mode equals force. Mode dot acceleration. We'll just default it to that, and we'll use force mode here. Force mode. So this exposes it as a variable, so we can actually change this if we wanted to later um, to the other settings. Cool. So um, so we we've, we've switched it down to ten on the yeah, acceleration, 10. and what we're also going to want to do is we're going to want to lock these guys in a little bit better. So right now. We're going to be losing our, our sumo mode here, by the way, by doing this. But um, we're going to set it so that their Z position is frozen and that they can't rotate. And so now we should just slide along the ground happily. Or very slowly. Very slowly. So so I think the problem is we're not overcoming the uh, physics... Uh, uh, the, the Drag. Yeah, the drag. Woo! All right. So we can kind of move, we can kind of slide around, we can kind of push each other, we can cancel each other's momentum. All right, cool. Um, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. So right now we're working with. Um, so by default, rigid bodies um, have. A small amount of angular drag and no regular drag, um, but there is also some friction stuff that you have to deal with too. That's not as obvious, and the reason it's not as obvious is it's in. Um, so by default, if you go to physics, it has a default material, non-physics material, and the fact that it sets none don't let that me make you think that there's no settings. There's actually something behind yeah. the scenes that it's using. It's probably whatever the default physics physics material is when we create one, which we're going to do right now. Physics material. And we're going to call this um, slippery. So um, dynamic friction, static friction. Um, I'm going to lower... Let's see. So if we lower the static fr friction too far, like if we just set it to zero, and we change project settings physics to use slippery as the default material, um, we probably won't be able to stop. Although that's a lie. We totally stopped. There's a little bit of slow down there. Oh, threshold, sleep threshold. All right, let's see what happens if we lower the dynamic friction as well. Just make it ridiculous. You're never going to stop now. Yeah, there we go. So I guess just dynamic friction was enough here. Um, so static friction we probably want low just because we don't want it to be harder. And now I know, you know, so in the real world, if you want to make something that feels like real physics, um, this is an aside because this game is not going to feel like real physics. This is a no. game where little birds and stuff hit each other in the head. So um, what you really want is you want static friction to be higher than your dynamic friction. Uh, basically, um, if you've ever done a test like with an object this heavy, like a book or something on a desk, you'll notice that it takes a little bit more pushing to get it moving, but once it starts moving, it'll kind of like slide along the surface. Yeah. And that's how it is for every material we know of with... I think some exceptions in like, um, you know, uh, what is uh, what is that field? Uh, 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 superconductor stuff. I think there's some oh, some yeah. cases where superconductors can have really zany physics properties. Um, I'm not sure if they ever have more dynamic friction than static friction, but it wouldn't surprise me if they did. Let me just put it that way. Um, if there's a physicist out there that wants to be like, uh, no, 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 they never break that rule, um, please feel free to say that in the comments. So um, we're going to want some of that friction. Um, this was set to 0.4 before, right? It actually kind of felt pretty good. I'm going to set it to 0.2. I'm going to make it a little slidier. Let's see how this goes. Not terrible. That actually kind of feels a little bit Joust-like. If you, if you ever see a video of Joust, you'll see that the bird kind of like accelerates and runs. Yeah, let me goes, see it. I love, I love me some Joust. Let me yeah. try it out. It's still a little too slow right now, but yeah, go ahead and feel it. 
A little bit. A little bit. It is too slow, but it does have that slidey feel yeah. to it. Like, yeah. Well, the idea is that you're on a mounted bird, right? You're mounting a yeah. bird, not in a weird way, but, like, you're mounting Not a in a weird way. <laughs> and, uh, you mean you have to, like, tell it to stop and stuff like that, and it's not going to stop instantly. That's yeah. the concept, right? Yeah. And once it gains momentum, it goes so, faster. So. I want to note this, even though we're not using it, um... Right now, I'm using the default material here, and we're just adjusting it, so everything that doesn't have a material set will use Slippery. Um, but um, if you want a specific surface to have different properties than another surface, like if you were making, say, a Mario game or something, and you had an ice level versus a versus you know ice blocks versus normal mm -hmm. blocks, um, all you do is you just set them. You can set the materials in um, in the box colliders for things. So uh, so if you just drag it in there, this will now use Slippery no matter what anything else is set to. So um, I'm going to just clear that. You can do that just by hitting delete or, um, or backspace, Body I think. Hit. Or maybe it's just delete. I don't know. On Windows, you'll have to tell me if it's delete or backspace. Because um, Mac kind of makes them the same thing. Yes, they do. So... So let's make it so that we accelerate a little bit faster. Like, let's do 15 and 15. And let's make it so that uh, Slippery is a little bit tighter because we're going to have more... Okay, actually, I think I'm going to go back to point 0.4. I think you should, should go back. Yeah, it seems better that way. All right. And uh, I'm going to still make it a little bit faster. Good. 25. 25? I 25. was going to just do 20. Okay. All right, 25. Let's try it 25 and see what happens. Yeah, that's probably a little bit better. Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, right now, we can kind of accelerate into infinity. We can just keep accelerating for, for all time. So I'm actually going to put a, um, a limit to our speed. So public um, float max velocity. Um, and let's set this to 10.0f as a default. I'm not sure if that's high or low, but we'll just do that. We've done this uh, before. Uh, all we're going to do is, uh, at the end of fixed update, we're going to set... We're going to check our velocity, so it'll be um, uh, rigidbody.velocity is our velocity. Dot magnitude is the the actual length of our velocity. So, like, no, no matter which direction we're going, this is how how much we can be going in a direction, or how so much, much we are going in a direction. So much direction. So such direction, such direction. Wow. <laughs> so much wow. Um, <laughs> so rigid body. Uh, Very friction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rigid body dot velocity dot magnitude. If it's greater than or equal to max velocity, velocity, then we will take. Rigid body dot velocity equals rigid body dot velocity dot normalized times max velocity. We've done this before. I'm going to explain it again though. So this is our current current velocity. This is our current velocity direction, but normalized so that it only has one unit of of value. So we can multiply anything in there and we'll get whatever we want. Mm -hmm. And so if we multiply it by max velocity, we will be going in that max velocity again. So what this does is this effectively caps our magnitude um, so that we can cannot exceed max velocity. Um, and if we do exceed it, we just set us, set us back to the max velocity as opposed to like just bumping us or doing some other things that we could be doing. It's pretty, pretty simple. So um, hit play and I'm not sure if we're reaching our speed. So we should probably we should a do little, a print. Yeah, we'll just do a um, void it, on GUI. Oh, are we going to have a, a actual? We'll just put something on the screen. Nice. Um, what are we going to do? Um, we're going to 
GUI layouts dot label and we'll just use rigid body dot velocity dot magnitude. Save. We need to call that somewhere, right? Um, no, we nope. don't. No, we it's don't. just always called, isn't On it? GUI is just magic. Oh, I did something wrong. Dot two string. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably fix it. Boop. Yay! All right. So we're gonna actually have kind of a problem here because we have both the velocities drawing there. All right, so it did look like it locked around ten. It did. I love that e to the negative seven. There's a small amount. There's a very small amount of velocity there, but uh, but yeah. So um, so the reason it's printing twice on top of each other is because we have this on GUI call, and this is happening for everything that has move left and right physicsy on it. And <laughs> I forgot um, that you called it physicsy. And right now we have two things with move left and right physicsy on it, and we're just being lazy and doing GUI layout dot label. Which, if you do multiple GUI layout calls in the same thing, it will automatically like put them in nice places, placements on the screen. Apparently, but if you call them outside, you, it doesn't. What, apparently, what? Someone hates all of our Doge memes. <laughs> I all hate right. you and all of your Doge memes. Why do you do this to me? I'm sorry. <laughs> Much sorrow. <laughs> this is not going to end well. <laughs> We're going to lose all of our <laughs> viewers because everyone's tired of Doge. 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 Is, it, is Doge it Doge or, or, or Doge? Doge? I want to Doge, know in the comments. Doge how makes do me happy because that's that's like, remember Danny's dog boy? He, yeah. He'd do Doge the Rogue. No. That was that was his rogue that's was Doge. That's amazing. But that was before, but it wasn't spelled D Doge. D-O-G-U-E? Yeah, it was, yeah, was D-O-G-U-E. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Well, you can tell us how it's pronounced if so you really I'm gonna, want to. So I'm going to do something fancy here. Um, I like fancy, right? So we're going to create we a private like static. Um, private static. How is this going to work? Yeah, let's try it. Um, private static uh, int. Um, what do we call this? Uh, um, script. Script. Script number. I'm just going to call it script number equals zero. And um, what we're going to do in start is, um, ch -ch -ch. oh wait, so we have a private, oh wait, what was I doing here? I wanted to make it so basically we can know how to move something down here, and um, what, okay, so yeah, we'll have a static int script number, and uh, we'll actually call this uh, total scripts. And private int script number, and so start a script number equals total scripts and total scripts plus plus. So what this should do is this should mean that each script will now automatically, as they hit their start parameter here, um, increment total scripts and assign them a script number that is effectively unique. Like each one will have a different different number on it. And so, um, how does GUI layout work? GUI layout dot begin area screen rec. That's I don't like to deal with complex end area. Space float pixels. All right, so what we will do is um, GUI layout dot space um, script number times uh, 30. We'll do 30 pixels. I don't know how many pixels is 30 pixels, but we'll try that. And actually, let's well, just 30 pixels let's make it as a pixels. public um, float debug um, That's the pixel-to-pixel -pixel ratio. Uh-huh. 30 pixels equals 30 pixels. Debug... Uh, but if you put GUI. that into a computer, it would probably return like uh, thirty point zero 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 e negative seven, something like that. Because there's just a there's just a point one somewhere. And actually, we'll make it. So yeah, do is thirty pixels equal equal to thirty pixels plus or minus epsilon. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. So what we are doing now is we're creating a space. There's a certain number of pixels. It'll probably be zero on the first script, and then it'll be one times debug GUI space. 
on the second one. And if we had a third script, it would it would put it down <coughs> it would even lower, be lower too. Than that as so well. theoretically, there yeah. we go. It See, worked it's exactly separated like it out. You thought it was. And um, <laughs> we can uh, adjust that uh, debug GUI space here. So I'd say twelve is probably perfect. Let's do twelve and twelve. And if we had a player three, we'd get a third a third layer there. So now we can see what each of the players doing, and we can see that ten is uh, probably a good max speed. I think it is. Maybe actually. a little too high, but I'm going to leave it for right now. Well, I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so what's next? Um, first, I kind of want to lock the players into the play area. So let's. Um, 16 by 9, that's a good, uh, that's a good ratio. Let's uh, start playing around with some things. We're going to just move the... First of all, the main camera is probably at... No, it's not. 2D mode, nice. 2D mode doesn't put it on Y1. What? Well, like in, in 3D mode, the default camera is on Y1. But just, 2D is not. But it's not, yeah. That's good. That's good, yeah. I thought there was a facetious level of that. Oh, yeah. look at that. That's kind of entertaining. Whee! Oh, <laughs> I fell through. It happens. So, 4.5. <laughs> Gravity. Negative <laughs> 4.5. And let's create a ceiling. Hey, there can't be lava if you make it locked with the ground. We'll lava. figure lava out later. It's a little early to be talking about lava, don't it's you think? It's never early enough to be talking about lava. So, ground, ceiling, we're going to make this one at 4.5. And then um, I'm going to create a little uh, empty game object. We're going to call this uh, Arena Arena 1. So that way Phil will know that later there might be an Arena 2 with some lava. Will there be a battle arena? Can we call it Toshinden? No, because that would be copyright infringement. No, we could just say it's a battle arena game. This one arena happens to be called Shinden. That, no, that's not really how copyright works. But what if I made an arena? I'm just gonna say no, <laughs> and we'll just leave it at that. Um, so this one will at zero. Not that it really matters because we're gonna kind of, we're making it kind of big, and I'm just going to figure out by moving it in the scene here. That looks a little pongy. That's rotation. You're right. Oh, nice. That is rotation. So that looks pong. Yeah, yeah it looks a little like pong. Pong -y. Pong esque. So eight point five, and then we can call this left wall and duplicate right wall and eight point five. So now we have this really horribly cramped arena that, that we, we cannot, cannot jump in. Jump in, and we can't really do anything interesting yet. This looks like a Commodore 64 um, basic screen before it boots up, actually. It does a little. Yeah, I agree. It's weird. That, that gray on the outside is definitely gray, but it feels like it's a blue-gray because it's near the blue. That's the way things work. Yeah. Human eyes suck. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> so um, we've got that. So let's make a uh, create C-sharp script. We're going to call this... Uh, I'm going to call it Flap in honor of the button oh, from, that is from perfect. Joust. That is perfect for both situations, actually. I think yeah. it's both referred to as a flap button. Is it? Well, think about what they you're They were doing. flagrant, man. Like, like it, That game people, is the same game. No, I know, I know. Balloon Fight is a complete ripoff of, of Joust. But the thing is, is you get two hits Or Or is fight. it the other way? It's no, got to be. It's, no, it's got to be Joust. Joust has got to have come first. Uh, joust. Um, Release. Game of fact. I just gotta know now before we start. No, spreading. not for any. Yeah, I know. Um, Joust for arcade, arcade games. Arcade. There was a bot. Oh. Joust for arcade game. Um, home release data. They've hidden this so many times. So 1982 and. Um, I should have known that. I bet balloon go with fights later, like 86. Fight. NES or arcade. There was an arcade game. There wasn't a v VS version, I don't, I don't think, though. Here, we'll just check the Wikipedia on this one. I bet it's 85. Oh, 84. 84. Yep. So I guess that answers that question. Yep, so definitely Balloon Fight first. was a ripoff of Joust. So, 
They're both good games. And they actually bring different things to the table. So. <clears throat> and they do, yeah. Though it is amazing how much of the formula they copy in, in Balloon I Fight. Really like they like even have Joust, the though. they even have like the reinflating their balloons instead of like like hatching eggs and stuff. And I think Joust is a cooler game. Yeah, Joust is awesome. So public float, um, um, flap force equals. Let's do five point f to start. And public force mode. Um, Force mode equals force mode dot acceleration. Midichlorians? Midichlorians, I guess. Force mode? Oh, force mode, I see. Versus, like, force mode not mid... Wait, I They shouldn't be sense. midichlorians. So, flat force, and then let's make a uh, public string flap button equals uh, fire one. We'll default to two, and we want that in quotes. Otherwise, it'll be like, what's Fire 1? What is this Fire 1 you speak of? So, it's actually um, the first instance of Flames, Fire 1. Yeah, yeah. But we don't have that defined anymore, so it would just choke it would on just it. Just be like, no. So, um, in the update, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do fiz uh, fixed update again. Fixed update. No broken update. And what we're going to do is, if... Uh, input dot get button down flap button then we are going to um, rigid body dot add force um, vector three dot up times flap force See, that sounds like a good game. And game. actually, this one probably should would be force. should be a... Oh, yeah. First of all, force mode... You know that? Well, uh, flat force sounds like a good title for a game. It does, actually. It does. Maybe that's what we'll call this, is flat force. I like it. Could we call it flat force 5? I'm actually going to default this to impulse, because it's kind of an instantaneous What do you think that of that? Give it. Flat force 5? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wonder and we why didn't we actually attach this to anything. So. so we're going to attach one to player two, one to player one, and we're going to go into project settings, input, and we've got fire one. I'm going to duplicate fire one. We're going to call it P2 fire one. P2 fire one. And so uh, right side, um, so... so Control is probably okay, although space, I think, let's do space. I think space makes a lot of sense. Space, space, all right. And um, on far one, we will change this to uh, enter. So I'll kind of cramp over here. Um, is it enter or return? I'm gonna type enter and see if it works. So, we now go to player two and make sure that player two flap is set to P2 fire one. And if we hit play, can you flap? You can flap. I can't flap though. I'm I'm flapless. Oh, we gotta fix that. You're dominating me on this game. <laughs> no! Well, it would help if you could actually flap. It would, it would. All right, so project settings, input. Um, so I went with uh, enter. I'm going to change this to uh, return. Maybe that will work. Retrun, re return. Yay. It works. So. Oh, no. I think I just. That actually killed myself on that. Yeah, if you bump into the bottom. It's all about the momentum in this game. So I think it's not always reading our input. And the reason it's maximum not always... Number of keys. Well, I don't think it's a maximum... Oh, it might be. Oh, yeah, I hate that. Um, That's a real thing, isn't it? I think I can actually get it to mess up even... Yeah, see, there's some that it doesn't do an input on. And why is that? Or it's doing pretty good right now. There we go. Um, 
I think it's because we're doing get button down and fixed update, and fixed update doesn't run every frame. So ah, that would do it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to create a private bool flap. Oh, I can't put an exclamation point in it. I wanted to real bad. Uh, private, private, private bool flap equals false. And what we're gonna do is instead of doing if get button down flap button, we're gonna do if uh, flap. Then we do this stuff and we set flap equals false. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a, so this is fixed update, so technically that comment should be above it, but void uh, regular update, which is actually just called update. You don't have to type in regular update. If, you, fact, do if you do, regular it update, won't work. Yeah, so. probably wouldn't work. Um, and what we're going to do is, this is a little fancy, but um, but all we're going to do is we're going to paste in input get button down. So if input dot get button down flat button, we will. This guy is on it right now. Um, Turn regular update will work if you call regular update from update. Flap or equals true. Is that right? So that makes sense. So, so it's false. We or it with true, which means that it becomes true, and then we or it with true again, and it stays true. So this should work. So what this is doing is basically flap is false, right? We start so st started out false. We do input dot get button down. So pretend pretend fixed <coughs> update is set real low. Like right now it's at fifty hertz. So like we're almost doing every frame on a fixed update, which is why you don't notice the problem as 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 bad. But basically, say that there were like three update frames before fixed update, and you hit the button on one of the frames. You wouldn't want to. Actually, I guess you can just say equals true. I'm thinking about this too too hard. This will be fine. We don't even have to be fancy. So basically, because we only reset this if flap in the fixed update, and so once uh, once we get a fixed update, flap is false, and if you hit the button multiple times during that, you just get one flap during that time. Does that sound right? Yeah. I yeah, it's so. probably fair. Excuse me. Save. Although I guess that means if you hit the button really fast, you might miss a flap. Mm, not looking like it. Well, you won't miss a flap but like well i mean you know what i mean you, i don't know if you if i'd say i was missing it oh yeah and we did run out of buttons there a moment ago okay well i'm holding every button do you want to hold buttons and hold left and right and then hit enter over and over and see if it well if i hold left and right and hit enter we got nothing okay so, so it's the sixth button Evidently, although I kind of can't flap sometimes. I noticed that. So maybe it's. Maybe if you it's let go of the buttons. Six. Maybe it's fewer than six, but it's only when it repeats the held button. Okay, now I'm confused as to why I'm not getting. So I, I'm fine when I'm not moving left and right, but when I'm moving. It's probably a problem with the cluster of buttons that you're using uh, for all that input. I don't think this is a button problem, because if it was a button problem, it would be pretty consistent. Like, what happens is, when you have too many buttons, you won't get another button. But this is like, if I am if I have a velocity, it doesn't want to go up. Oh, I know why. I know why. It's because I'm reaching my max velocity, and we're trying to flap. Oh. And oh. so, yeah. So, interesting little problem there. All right, so how do we fix that? Um, Input doesn't work right in fixed update. Yep, that's why I moved it to regular, regular update. Regular good old update. So right now we have a max velocity. Add drag and have it slow down that way. Mm -hmm. Well, the problem is that when you use the input or the when you're pressing enter, you're getting all that impulse of a force, and it's gonna push your velocity up higher than it should. So we could try and wing it with some drag. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna separate out the horizontal and vertical velocity components. 
So instead of velocity dot magnitude, we're going to um, I'm going to call this max horizontal velocity. And actually, um, just so that I don't have to deal with too much, I'm going to go back to what it said, and then we're going to right click, refactor, rename, max horizontal velocity. So that changed all the instances for us, and we don't have to worry about bugs regarding that. And um, to find and replace all. So rigid dot rigid body dot velocity dot magnitude is greater than or equal to max horizontal velocity. So instead of dot magnitude, we're gonna do math f dot absolute. Yep. Um, math f dot abs for absolute value. That means it doesn't care if it's positive. Or positive yeah, or it turns it into a positive number, whether it's positive or negative. Mm -hmm. And we use rigid body dot velocity dot x. And so if it is greater than that um rigid body dot velocity equals oh we could separate it into us put rigid body dot velocity into the vector variable and then just do a clamp on the x component okay so instead of doing it this way we would do um Rigid uh, math f dot clamp uh, rigid body dot velocity dot x um, negative max horizontal positive max horizontal negative max horizontal positive oops max horizontal and then what we actually need to do is we need to assign this to a temporary variable so we'll have to do um, Vector three, um, or d would rigid body dot velocity dot x? Can you set it without a temporary variable since it's totally. not a transform vector or something? Mm, let's find out if we can. Let's give it a shot. So we'll just do rigid body dot velocity. You never know until you try, right? Dot x equals math f dot clamp, and I'm just going to temporarily do one of these. Give it the clamps. Giving it the clamps. Stinky. So if this works correctly. Okay, we got compiler errors. Um, yeah, we can't modify it directly. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do vector three vel equals rigid body dot velocity. Then we do vel dot x equals. That's it. That's vel. correct. Well, it uh, well, okay. doesn't matter either way. And. Um, Rigid body dot velocity equals bell. Save. Just can't modify it directly. Yeah. So now, okay, it's still stopping us. That's good. I'm still not exceeding 10. But now if I flap, no, now we can't flap at all. That's weird. Probably because the X is. Oh, it's corrected. because I'm setting. Yeah. Okay, I'm setting velocity. So what's happening is this is happening second after flap, and uh, we're actually setting the. Uh, what are we doing here wrong? We're doing something wrong here. We're modifying just the X. Well, we are modifying just the X velocity, so, so the vertical velocity isn't actually being affected. It, It shouldn't be affected, but what I think is happening is because of the order of these things, we're flapping here, we're adding a force, and then this is setting the velocity. Out the force with the velocity, probably, isn't it? Hold on. So can we flap it all right now? Yeah, flap's totally dead now. I just want to comment this out real quick. <coughs> to make sure that this is what's doing it. I'm sure it is, but I want to make sure. It is. Yeah, we can flap now. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, we're going to create another script. <laughs> so I'm going to copy this stuff out so we have it to work with somewhere else. Actually, I'm going to copy the 
Oh, I'm just gonna duplicate this this thing. Duplicate. We're gonna call limit velocity. Um, sure, we can save some flap. And um, limit velocity. We're gonna rename it to limit velocity. And so we don't want these things. We don't want this thing. I'll leave that stuff. And we don't want this, but we do want this stuff. So we're going to attempt this one again. But instead, so what we're going to do is we're going to save. We're going to go to uh, where is our move left and right physics? -y. All right, so we're no longer doing this in whoa. Sweet. All right. Thanks, Model Develop, for scaring me. To get rid of all this stuff that we don't need in here anymore. I think it gets a thrill out of it. Script cleanup. What? What's that? Save. All right. So let's see if we compile. Looks like we compiled. Okay. So we're gonna put limit velocity now on player one and player two. And right now it's just doing horizontal velocity. We'll probably adjust that in a moment. Um, what we're going to do, though, is we're going to go to Project Settings, um, Script Execution Order, and we're going to make sure that Limit Velocity actually happens at the end, so at past default time. So anything that's below default time happens after default time. If we drag it up here, it would happen first. So we're going to hit Apply, we're going to hit Play, and so is my velocity limited? Looks like it is. Can I flap? No. Let's try it the other way, just to see if it makes a difference. See, I think this way will actually work better. It does. Mm -hmm. Why yeah, it limiting was, first? Yeah, it was because I think that it was taking it. The velocity was getting reset when you were modifying the everything manually when you were clamping it. That's my theory. Um, can't prove that, but well, I guess it could, kind of, but it would take me a while. But yeah, it looks like it, this right, limiting well velocity needs to happen before anything else. Weird. Um, oh, yeah, let's save the scene. Um, I'm going to call this test scene. That's a good actually, call, arena actually. One. This arena 1. I thought it was Flight Force. Flat Force. Well, that's the project name. We should save the project. Well, we just did. But we can't change the name easily. That's, that's a lie. We can change it really easily. All we have to do is just rename the folder. Lame. So, um, so that worked. Uh, right now, I don't feel like we need to limit the vertical velocity because we're just going to hit the ceiling so quickly anyway. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be an issue. The only thing I would maybe say is, mm, we need more bounce back so you can't just hover at the top. But We well, can probably fix that with the physics material. Sure we could. Let's see if we can. So we call it slippery. We're also going to make it bouncy. So first of all, project settings, I found that in physics, the bounce threshold is way too high to be useful. Um, so basically, a contact with a relative velocity below this will is not this a, bounce. Is this a new that might be fine. material, or we're making a new material? So this is the right? physics man manager here, but we're not making a new material. No, I'm just actually switching our slippery around here. Oh. I'm going to make, so bouncing this, is this just 0 to 1? Okay, we'll just make it 1 and see how it does. So let's see what happens when we hit our heads. Now. Whoa, whoa. That's too bouncy. That's too much bouncy. <laughs> That's way too bouncy. Let's put a bouncy at like 0. 0.2. So we're going to call this the the, uh, uh, this is the, the bounce, bounce castle, yeah, bounce bounce castle. castle uh, arena. Reminds me of the battle block theater <laughs> blocks that you run against and they knock you back and forth. Yes. Can you, uh, Change it to like point two five. Point two five. Let's see what that does. That's actually it seems better. It's kind of pleasant. Now we might want to have it only on the top because like there's no That's bouncing. That's what I was thinking. I'm gonna kind of leave it right now because I kind of like it. And that's why you need a pterodactyl. For that kind of nonsense. How did you get stuck up there? He's pushing against the wall. And Are you wall hacking? Yep. 
you can you can stick to the walls. Sweet, we have climbing like bird things that are actually just cubes. But they'll be bird things someday, maybe. They're gonna be. I'm or going balloon to things. be a bird. All right, so what's causing that? That's got to be our. We have no static friction. You would think that that would. Uh... All right, if I just start sliding this. Oh well, I lost control. Let's make the dynamic friction zero again, just for the fun of it. I want to see if that solves that problem. Okay, it does. But if I have dynamic friction set to like say 0.4, we'll probably be able to just like stick on the walls. Yep. How about 0.2? How about 0.8? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, that's better. You can still kind of slide down the wall. Yeah, well, so what we're gonna I have can to stick do... at point two, and I was able to stick at zero also. All right, so we're gonna have to have multiple physics materials. It looks like. <laughs> so now we actually should probably name these appropriately. So let's call this um, ground, and let's duplicate. And actually, let's get rid of the bounciness on the ground, and let's duplicate it, and create a uh, walls. So the walls, we're going to have a dynamic friction of zero. And, and then we should have bouncy. Yeah, we should have like a small amount of bouncy on this. And then... Two five. Actually, I would put a little higher on the bouncy than on, two five. For the walls? Okay. Yeah. Even the walls, like point three three. Do a three three. Three three. Wow. Uh, getting, three five. Getting fancy. Three five. Three five, you can't do it. You can't do three three, no, can I can't. I'm doing I three, don't three. like three three. I just did it. Freaks me out, man. So walls, and then we're going to call this one ceiling... ceiling. And I think this should be a 3-3 bounciness as well. Okay. So this is going to be exactly the same as the walls in? Yeah, why can't that just be the same thing? I guess uh, let's just No, let's keep it separate. Keep it separate. We might want them functionally right. to be a bit different. So ground. Physics material is ground. Ceiling physics material is ceiling. And left wall and right wall physics material is... Walls. Walls. So now we shouldn't stick. What's so, our default set to? So now we have some friction on the ground. What's our default set to? I think it's still set to ground. Oh, uh, you are sticking. We're still, still sticking to the wall. Like flies. Why are we sticking so good? So the players are using the default of ground? Oh, good point. Good point. The players have their own physics aspect too. So let's uh, physics... You know, let's make. Uh, I have a special player physics. Yeah, I'll create one called player. It's going to be exactly the same as walls, though, without the bouncy, though, probably. Let's call it player, and let's not have the bouncy. See, it's different then. All right, and then we'll put player on player one and player two. Wherever that goes. There it is. Player. Let's create a physics materials folder and a scripts folder. All right. Scripts. Create folder. Physics materials. It seems like an appropriate thing. Bam and bam. Bam. All right, so we're going to jump around, jump around, jump up, jump up, and get down. Sweet. We can't yeah, climb the wall anymore. That is much better, and they're a little bouncy. They're a little bouncy. Honestly, they probably could stand to be more bouncy. I think they could. But it at 0.5. Okay. Why am I whispering? I don't know. So we should have ceilings and walls go to 0.5. From the ceilings... And we could do bounce combine of maximum. To the walls. Till the, yeah. I like that. That has a good yeah, feel I to it. Yeah, I bet that's a lot harder. Do you want to you wanna feel that? Well, feel I, that out? I, I, yes. Yeah, that's, that's about right. We need to have a, uh, there's... We should actually have the players bouncy only against each other, though. That's how Joust functions. 
players bouncing. Yeah, because when you smack into the front of another player, you actually get kicked back. Both of you do. We'll have to make a script for that. Yeah. Cool. But yeah. I think that's a good stopping. <laughs> 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 trouble landing on the guy in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That seems save good. Save scene, save project. Let's go ahead and put Perforce. this into Perforce to uh, the Cooking with Unity one, not the not the magic cool one. There is no magic. Oh, there's plenty of magic in the world. So uh, balloon joust fight. So there. do I have to do anything on the workspace side? Probably. So what do we do? Edit. I'm just going to copy the planets thing here, and we're going to change it to say balloon joust fight. Do we spell it? No. Joust is a weird looking word. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those words. No planet. There you go. There you go. There you go. Apply. Um. Balloon Joust Fight is not under planets. Where did I, where did I put a planets? Um, what? Balloon Joust Fight. I do not see. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Uh, I see the problem. I don't have a depot for it, do I? I made separate depots for everything. That's so dumb. <laughs> All right, I'll clean this up later. We don't. Ah, uh, let's do it now. Whatever. P four admin. Cookie with Unity. Give it to me. Depose. Create. Give it. Give me. New depot. A uh, balloon joust fight. Okay. And yeah, well, that's fine. So now if I go back in here and hit OK, uh, don't get latest, reconcile offline work, reconcile, rectify. Compliance. <laughs> explore, no, not explorers, uh, navigator, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that movie's real good until they turns into Pee Pee Wee Herman. Yeah, yeah, it was cool, and then you're like, oh, it's not as cool anymore. But as a kid, I didn't really. Get I didn't too get bothered. That. I got a little bothered by it because the thing is, his name was Max, wasn't he? Yeah. Or, and yeah, that yes. that makes you Most care a little bit more. That did not happen for me. Yeah. Um. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, balloon Joust fight. Uh. Oh yeah. Uh. Initial check in. We've. Got movement and bouncy. Submit. All right. Uh, cancel. It's still running server commands. Okay, it's lying. All right. Thanks for joining us. Um, yeah, thank you all for joining us. Yes, and thank you for joining us. Yeah. yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, a little uh, while. It has been a while, but. It feels like it. It does it does feel that way? And sorry, I missed you guys on Monday. Actually, that was that was my bad on that one. Um, just was a, I I don't know what happened. I was exhausted, and then like Tuesday was just terrible. I was just sick. So feeling a lot better now, though. Good. Um. Anyway, um. If you have any questions, please email me. Email me at pushypixels at pushypixels dot com. You can also tweet me at drakfire. That's D R A K F Y R E. Um, you should buy Phil's game, Ro Robot Alone. That's my game. On iOS. It's cool. And you should support uh, the Vanguard V Kickstarter. Um, it's super awesome, and uh, it's got like 20 days to go or something, and we, we, need, we need as much support as we can get. And if you can't support it, but you want to help us, tell someone else to support it. Just like spread yeah, the word, word out there. Word of mouth good. is great. Uh, you could also follow me on Twitter if you want to. Twitter. I'm at MagmaLemer. You can email me. Check another episode for, for what my email address is. I'm just not even giving it out now. I'm just, just Twitter. That's all I care about. Um, and yeah, definitely support the Kickstarter for uh, Vanguard Valkyrie. 
Seriously. Yeah. It Vanguard looks, B. It's it's really cool. I I can say that firsthand. I can say it's really cool. Yeah, it's it's super awesome. It's a lot um, of fun. And yeah, definitely definitely support that. And you can donate to the show too, but but more importantly, support the Kickstarter yeah. right now. Yeah, work on the Kickstarter right now. And um I think that's it. Do you have anything to say, Jeffrey? I concur with everything those two just said. Yeah, so follow me on Twitter. You heard it from Jeffrey. <laughs> so so that's more that's... importanty donate. To the, the Kickstarter. To the Kickstarter, yeah. Yeah, you okay. get stuff. And if you, you get can't stuff, tell, it's not donating. It's tell all your friends stuff, but, about it. Or something. Yes, and buy, buy Whatever, stuff. Whatever, Kickstarter Talk Kickstarter to you all your friends. Tell them to get Oculuses and play the, the Vanguard o- game. Oculi? The, the v. Oculi. Get, get the <laughs> yeah, Oculi get, out. Get multiple Oculis. <laughs> Thanks this for joining is. us tonight. <laughs> get all the Oculis. Much VR. So 3D. <laughs> I get to cut this off wherever I want. So. Very particles. <laughs> <laughs> Much physics. Although with my current <laughs> track record of cutting cutting videos, it's not going to happen. So that's not true. I I, I go back and do it every Very once in a edit. while. So yeah. So thanks for joining us. <laughs> Were there any exciting comment comments or anything? Does or Kickstarter accept BTC. Bitcoins? No, they do not. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. They do not accept Doge coins as well. There were there was or another Doge coins or whatever they are. Another question about why didn't you put it on Indiegogo? Um, why we didn't put it on Indiegogo? Honestly, we probably could have done a dual thing on that. Although we, it's it's hard to juggle this stuff as it is with just one thing that you're working on. Um, we, someone asked the question at one point: Why wouldn't did we didn't do Indiegogo? Because Indiegogo, you can still get the money even if you don't get funded, mm-hmm. which Honestly, to me, sounds like a death wish. Um, because, quite frankly, if we don't get our minimum bid on this, we're not going to have enough money to finish the project. So I don't really understand, like, like, do they not get anything? Do they just, like, throw their money into a pile and it just becomes I our money know. or something? Because that I... sounds gross. Yeah. Um, but uh, so, so the thing is, honestly, like, if we don't make the goal, um, it's not feasible to make under that goal honestly like we we it, we're not we're not asking for a bunch of money just because because we want a bunch of money we're asking for a bunch of money so that we Games can make are the project to make. so like, yeah very expensive to make um, especially if you want to make them at a really high quality which is what we're aiming for we're aiming for kind of a triple a title here but with a small team so so it's uh it's 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 uh, it, it would be shooting ourselves in the foot if we got if we got like you know $10,000 or something and we were like, well, can we stretch this into a game? And, and it's like, the answer is, yeah, probably, but not the game that we were advertising. So There was another suggestion, too. It says, in a suggestion for the Cooking with Unity donation, why don't you use some for Vanguard V stretch goals? Um, use some what? I don't know. Wait, That's what, what I question? read. You can, you, can, you can read it yourself. Why don't you use... Um, yeah, uh... I think uh, the there's not a lot Valkyrie of sum right there. Now. I'm going to tell you right now oh. that uh, Vanguard Valkyrie, the Kickstarter as is right now, has more money in it than we have received in donations for the entire history of the show. Uh, during the entire history of the show, we probably have gotten to maybe $2,000 total. Wow. Like I probably shouldn't say that because it sounds terrifying, but like it's true. It's 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 not it's not a lot of money. I will I will like if someone donates during the next couple of weeks, I probably will just slide that into the Kickstarter. Quite frankly, mm-hmm. because because I want that thing to succeed. But um, but uh, but the, quite frankly, we don't actually get a whole lot of donations. So um, um, and uh, and uh, but yeah. So 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 yeah. That's the answer to that question, I guess. Yeah. I okay. probably shouldn't be that open and truthful, but why you know, does it matter? I don't know. It doesn't matter. You're not supposed to talk about money ever. Yeah, no. It's just no, 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 rude no, no. or something. No, no, no. no. no in America, you aren't supposed to talk about money ever. In America. Oh, okay. In other countries, there actually is more open discussion about salaries and money and everything like that. And, and People where are, are we? really tight about that, and we are not that way. We are very. We're tight in about America that. right yes, now, right? We are in America. Like, like uh, that's what yeah. that's what my phone said. I think. Yeah. Last time I checked, this was America. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, no. I, honestly, I, I I like to be more open about things. Honestly, but I think it's that's just better. it's that's just a good policy. I don't know, and I think things have gotten more open too because of the internet and stuff. People are starting yeah. to actually well. tell things. I'm going to tell you, like all those people that you think are rich out there, probably are just scraping by with whatever they've got. So, 
Um, totally it's weird. It's weird. Um, what else was I gonna say? I was gonna say something else, but now I forgot. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, well. We've we've meandered all the way off this thing, and I'm pretty sure that we aren't gonna get too much important cut off at this point if I just stop Sweet. the thing. So, thanks for joining us. Yes, Have a great thank night. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>